keep that baby quiet. I can't hear myself bloody sing no more, girl. <laughs> oh, Mr. Stigwell. Mr. Blanfeddy? Yes, you phoned me a couple of days ago, wasn't it? Yes, my secretary made an appointment. Yes, uh, would you like to sit down? Can I take your coat and hat? I think I'll keep it on. It's not exactly overheated in here, is it? <laughs> well, uh, take a seat, anyway. Thank you. Yes. I understand you teach the piano, do you? Uh, yes, I do, yes. Could you teach me? Well, I've been teaching the piano for five years now. I don't see why you should be an exception. Have you had any musical training before now? I've had no formal musical education, but I have a certain sort of instinctive feel for it. I'm a very rhythmical person. Aye, aye. All my family are very rhythmical. My mother was very rhythmical before me. And I know the basic things about the piano, the notes, the white ones, the black ones. The black ones play louder than the white, don't they? <laughs> that much I know. No, somebody's been leading you up the garden path there, I think of it. Uh, you can get the same amount of volume out of the black and the white ones. There must be some reason for them being black and white, surely. Well, I suppose the same reason why some people are black and others are white, you know, but... Mr. Blanfetti, I... I'm paying you to be a musical tutor, not a comedian. Can we start? Um, um, uh, there's one thing I ought to bring up. It's the sordid subject of money. There's nothing uh, sordid about money, Mr. Blanfetti. No, I suppose not, but I always get a bit embarrassed about it. Uh, the thing is, uh, my lessons are a little expensive. Um... Seven and six and a half hour. I think I can run to that. Oh, that's all right. I didn't want to embarrass you, you know, later no, you on. Won't. No, fine. Well, right, where shall we start? Well, I think, first of all, learning the names of the notes is most important. For instance, this is sort of generally accepted as the sort of middle of the piano. You see, middle C, and it goes up in alphabetical order. C, D, E... Yes, I don't like that very much, Mr. Blanfetti. It's a bit complicated starting in the middle. Couldn't we start at the end here? And... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way up there. Then it'd be quite easy. You'd just shout out the numbers and I could poke my fingers in the time. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Yes, sir. Uh, get yourself in a bit of a tangle. I don't right think now. I would. It's a bit unorthodox. It may be unorthodox, Mr. Blanfetti, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Let me explain one thing. Tuesday fortnight is my wife's birthday. Aye, aye. Yeah. And I'm very anxious to surprise her with a little sort of musical treat. And I thought it'd be very nice if I could have learned something, and while she's having her birthday breakfast upstairs, champagne, flowers, cakes, that sort of thing, she could hear the music wafting up the stairs. There's one particular piece of music she's very fond of, which I'd like to get sort of mastered for then. Beethoven's Fifth. Could we do it? <laughs> You're familiar with it, are you? Beethoven's Fifth thing? Beethoven's Fifth Symphony by, yes. by Tuesday week. Tuesday week, yes. If you can concentrate on that and get that out of the way, then well, go on to something else later. It'd be very nice, but it'd be a bit of a miracle if you could do that by Tuesday. Uh, I mean, I could probably get you Blackbird Gavotte uh, with one hand under your belt by next Tuesday week. Mr. Blanfetti, I'm not interested in Blackbird Gavotte with one hand under my belt by next Tuesday. I'm interested in Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Let's get on with it. It's not going to be easy. Well, I don't know. It's a bit difficult, really. I mean, uh, it's an orchestral piece, really. You need an orchestra for it, you I've see. got an orchestra, Mr. Blanfetti. I bought one last Wednesday. <laughs> merger for tax purposes, and I'd like to play with the lads, you know, a nice group of people, a few harps, double basses and things, I'd yes, like to well, join in. Doesn't really matter if you've got the Welsh National Philharmonic in the backyard, you know. It's not a piano concerto, it's a, a symphony. You, there's no piano part in it. Mr. Blanfetti, if it's my orchestra, I'd have thought I could come in with what instrument I like at what time I like. I'm sure they'll see it my way if we can put a piano in just like that. da 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 that's it, but, isn't it? Mr. Stigwell, I must... Uh, tell you that, you know, some things are a little impossible. Nothing is impossible, Mr. Blanfetti. Let me tell you a few things about myself. I was born with nothing in a minefield. I had a straw in my mouth and that was all. From that, I've worked my way out to my current position. I'm a millionaire at 31. I have the largest jute-importing business in the world. And how did I get it? Through integrity, strength of mind, and physical fitness. Don't tell me I can't master this. Well... Mr. Stigwell, let me tell you that however rich you are, I can't accelerate the process of musical tuition. How much I, money do you have? I, you can't, you can't, you can't buy musical talent like a pound of sausages. How much money did you say you charged? Well, I charge seven and six and a half hour. I'll pay you 50 guineas a half hour. Let's get on with it. Mr. Stigwell, I don't think you understand. I can't be bought. I'm not some sort of a musical harlot. Goodness. Do you, boy, 50 guineas an half hour? Don't you think that isn't tempting now? 
I mean, I could be sunning myself in, in the Bahamas, couldn't I, for 50 guineas an half hour, instead of living here on seven and six and a half hour in a pokey two-room flat in Upminster with my wife and baby screaming upstairs after bloody day? <laughs> but there's such a thing, Mr. Stickwell, as integrity. I don't suppose you've come across that in your checkered career, have you? Look, boy, if I pretended I could teach you Beethoven's fifth by Tuesday week, I'd be telling a lie, and I can't afford to do that. Not for financial reasons, Mr. Stigwell, but because of self-respect. And that, my boy, is more valuable to me than 50 guineas an half hour. There you are, I bet my say. You might as well go now. We've got nothing more to discuss. First class, Blenfeddy. Nobody's spoken like that to me for years. I like your style. I like the cut of your jib. Integrity, that's a valuable thing, and I'm willing to pay for it. I'll give you 100 guineas an hour. That's more like it, boy, now. You'll find the black nose play a bit louder than the white one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.